Hello everybody and today we're going to tackle the possession structure in Hebrew. So if we want to say an expression, if we want to say there is or there are, we'll use one single word which is yesh. So if it's a negative statement and we want to say so there is not or there are not, we'll use the word n. So for example, there is a house, yesh bait. There is no house, n byte. So let's see a few examples. There is money, yesh kesef. There is no money, n kesef. There is time, yesh zman. There is no time, n zman. There is money, but there is no time, yesh kesef, aval n zman. There is time, but there is no money. Yesh zman, avalen kesef. So if we want to say something that there was, so yesh becomes haya if it's a masculine noun. If the noun is feminine, yesh, there was, becomes haita. If there were, so we're talking about a plural noun, it becomes hayu. Is there money? Yesh kesef. There was money. Now there is no money. Haya kesef. Achshav en kesef. So the reason why we use haya and not haita is because kesef is a masculine noun. So therefore, we'll use haya kesef. Is there time? Yesh zman. There was time, but now there is no time. Hayazman, achshav enzman. So the same situation is about the word time, which is zman. Zman in Hebrew is also a masculine noun. Therefore, we'll use haya. Where are the people? Efo ha'anashim. There were a lot of people here. Hayu po harbe anashim. So notice that here we're using hayu because people is a plural noun, therefore we'll say hayu. Now there are no people here. Achshav en po anashim. So now we're going to tackle to have. To say to have, so we will combine the expression yesh plus le. Le is a preposition or a possessive pronoun that will be used to describe who has. So the inflection of it will actually tell us who has. So therefore we cannot say ani yesh. It is a misconception and it's wrong. You cannot say ani yesh kesef or ani yesh zman. It's wrong. You cannot use it. You have to use le. The preposition le as the possessive pronoun. The inflection of it is what we're going to learn. So if I have or there is to me, literally, it will be li. The inflection of to you, masculine singular, will be lecha. The inflection of the le possessive pronoun to you, feminine singular, will be lach. So this is addressed to a woman. So if I want to say I have, remember, it's not any yesh, it will be yesh li. I don't have, so instead of yesh we'll use en li. Let's see what will happen if we will address the same question or the same statement to a man. You're stating you have ata yesh, absolutely not. Yesh lecha. We'll need to use the inflection of the possessive pronoun. Yesh lecha. If you want to say to a person, if you want to say to a man, you don't have, therefore you will say en lecha. When we're addressing the same statement to a woman, we'll say, we're saying you have yesh lach. You don't have en lach. So we're asking a man, 
Do you have money? How will we say that? Yesh lecha kesef? Yes, I have money. Ken, yesh li kesef. I have a lot of money. Yesh li harbe kesef. Do you have time? Yesh lecha zman? No, I have no time. Lo, en li zman. A question addressed to a woman. Do you have children? Yesh lach yeladim? Yes, I have three children. Ken, yesh li shlosha yeladim. And this is a counter question. So it will be the person asked a woman if she has children and she asked him as a counter question and do you have children? Ulecha yesh yeladim? So notice that I changed the order here because we started conversation. The man asked the woman if she has children. She made a counter question. She asked a counter question and do you have children? So therefore I changed the order because we're putting stress on the ulecha yesh yeladim? Yes, I have two children. Ken, yesh li shne yeladim. So now we're talking about had, so we're basically talking about the verb to be in past tense. So remember that haya, haita, and hayu. So therefore, yesh and en will be replaced by haya and lo haya. So if we want to say something that was, we will use the past tense of the verb to be. So yesh becomes haya, haita, or hayu depending on the gender and the number of the noun or the object that was possessed together with the le preposition. So for example, if we want to make a negative statement, so n becomes lo haya or lo haita or lo hayu. So therefore, yesh becomes haya, haita or hayu, n becomes lo haya, lo haita, lo hayu. Obviously, depending on the gender and the number of the object. So, how will we use the possessive pronoun together with a name? So, we say, Yossi had time. We we're asking a question. Haya Yossi's man or Yossi Haya's man. So, we're missing something here. We need to say, Haya le Yossi's man or le Yossi Haya's man. Why le? Because always when we have possession, we need to use the le possessive pronoun. So when we have a name of a person, we need to add le before his name. Haya le Yossi Zman? No, Yossi had no time. Lo, le Yossi lo Haya Zman. Do you have time? Yesh lecha Zman. I had time, but now I have no time at all. Haya li zman, aval achshav en li zman bichlal. I had a big house. So a house is a masculine noun, therefore we'll say Haya li bait gadol. I had a big apartment. Apartment is a feminine noun, so therefore we'll say Haitali dira gdola. I had a lot of stuff to do. So this is more of an expression. I had a lot of stuff to do will be simply in Hebrew Hayuli Harbe Dvarim Lasot. So now we're continuing to learn the inflection of the lap possessive pronoun. So to him will be lo. Very similar to the word no in Hebrew, which is lo. But don't confuse it. Lo, as no in Hebrew, will be with an aleph. And lo, the inflection of the possessive pronoun, will be with a vav. To her will be la. Therefore, he has yesh lo. He doesn't have en lo. She has yesh la. She doesn't have en la. 
Does Yossi have children? Yes, le Yossi yeladim? Yes, Yossi has one child. Ken, le Yossi yes yeled echad. He has one child. Yes, lo yeled echad. Does Michal have children? Yes, le Michal yeladim. No, Michal doesn't have children. Lo, le Michal en yeladim. She has no children. En la yeladim. To us will be lano. To you guys, masculine plural will be lachem. To you girls, feminine plural will be Lachen. We have yesh lanu. We don't have en lanu. You have yesh lachem. You don't have en lachem. Feminine plural. You have yesh lachen. You don't have en lachen. Do you have an apartment? יש לכם דירה? Yes, we have an apartment. כן, יש לנו דירה. Where do you have an apartment? איפה יש לכם דירה? We have an apartment in Jerusalem. יש לנו דירה בירושלים. Where did you have an apartment? איפה הייתה לכם דירה? So remember, דירה... Is a feminine noun, therefore we'll say Haita. We had an apartment in Tel Aviv. Haita lanu dira be Tel Aviv. Do you have a store next to the house? Yes, lachem chanut leyad abayit. Yes, we have plenty of stores next to our house. Ken, yes lanu harbe chanuyot leyad abayit. Do you have plans for tomorrow? יש לכם תוכניות למחר? No, we have no plans for tomorrow. לא, אין לנו תוכניות למחר. Did you have plans for tomorrow? היו לכם תוכניות למחר? So we use היו because plans is a plural noun. We had plans, but now we have no plans. היו לנו תוכניות, אבל עכשיו אין לנו תוכניות. Do you have a cat in the house? יש לכן חתול בבית? No, we don't have a cat, we have a dog. לא, אין לנו חתול, יש לנו כלב. We had a cat. היה לנו חתול. So the inflection of to them, masculine plural, will be lahem. And to them, feminine plural, will be lahen. They have yesh lahem. They don't have en lahem. They have yesh lahen. They don't have en lahen. Do they have a job? יש להם עבודה? Yes, they have a very good job. כן, יש להם עבודה טובה מאוד. Do they have cars? יש להם מכוניות? No, they have no cars. לא, אין להם מכוניות. Do they have a cat? יש להם חתול? No, they don't have a cat. לא, אין להן חתול. They had a cat. היה להן חתול. Do they have a dog? יש להן כלב? No, they never had a dog. לא, אף פעם לא היה להן כלב. Did they have enough time? היה להן מספיק זמן? No, 
they didn't have enough time. לא, לא היה להן מספיק זמן. Okay, so that's it for the lesson today. Thank you very much guys for your attention and I hope that you found this video educating. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos and I'll see you guys next time.